Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to properly use effects textures and what they do. So, uh, I recorded this before and I did not have my mic turned on, I was muted all the time and I was stupid. So that's why I am going to explain it again in like two minutes or so. So, uh, this is the Fallen Love Ranger. If you import it, you will see that he has got a few textures, all of these textures. And they won't immediately look like what you see right here. They will probably look like... Just like this. Uh, and you'll ask yourself, what in the hell? Well, um, I can explain. This is a white value, uh, so we're gonna do the E texture first. This is a white value, and those white values are meant for something. If you look at this, oh, you'll see that only this thing is white. That's uh, that's basically how you know that uh, this vector is basically saying, yeah, only the eye has to be doing something. Everything else is just neutral not doing nothing at all so um but if you plug it into an emission it's still white and that's not what you want right so uh okay uh there's one quick fix on how to make the eye uh colored and that's basically add a mix rgb you can do it this, this in a lot of ways but this is just in my opinion, the fastest, fastest, this quickest way. Uh, turn this into completely black, and now you can go ahead and make the eye any color you want. So we'll leave it at right there. Um, okay, now this is the same for effects textures, but often they have uh, a lot of colors. So uh, how to do this? Uh, you see that this yellow color that's basically it's quite close to red so uh, we've got a uh, red green blue texture RGB and you'll see that if you uh, only use oh, only use the red uh, value uh, it basically displays the cracks you want to light up so it only yeah only that uh, or you, or if you go ahead and just look at this this is basically what's used for changing skin colors in uh, most uh, custom shaders uh, this one is by, done by Fry's by the way you shout out to Fry's he's uh, goaded on the <laughs> goaded on the nodes I'm gonna make myself uh, a shader once uh, that I'll publicly uh, release uh, yeah, okay, so um, you want this thing. You have this thing, right? Uh, you'll basically have to do the same thing for this, but with another, with a mix shader, because you don't have two emission plugins right here. So um, you can go ahead and what I already did, um, wait, I'll do it again. There you go, add a mix shader. Make sure you have Node Wrangler turned on, by the way. Gonna say that every, this every video. It's really convenient. Really. Jesus. No Wrangler. Really handy. Uh, there you go. And so, basically, so once again, the white value is meant to be doing something. So, a mission in this case. And the black value is meant to be doing nothing at all. So uh, we'll plug that in, we'll plug that in, we'll plug that in. Uh, wait, we'll make an emission. Maybe set it to two or three, whatever you like. That's just for the strength. Uh, and just plug this in and the normal shader. And you will see. Alrighty, I am back. Um, so you can just go ahead and now you basically now have it the FX texture is displaying as an emission texture 
and you can control the strength or the color and I basically I, I, I discussed this before but now it's a pretty short video just like that awesome that's basically how effects textures work